Welcome to Detroit, the city known for the auto industry, Motown, and more recently, a comeback. In 2013, Detroit hit a low point when the city filed for bankruptcy. But today, Detroit is rebuilding and redefining a modern American city. And one thing's clear, to rebuild a city, you have to listen to the people who live there and get everyone to work together. This is Smarter Faster Cities, exploring ways to create new paths to opportunity. Over the past five years, Detroit has bloomed. Small businesses like Lester Gubia's are getting off the ground. Recently, Lester turned his food truck into Norma G's restaurant. New workforce programs like the one at A. Philip Randolph Technical High School are teaching young people valuable skills that lead to good jobs. And developers like Sonia Mays are rebuilding and renovating historic neighborhoods. A lot of this work has been supported by J.P. Morgan Chase's five-year investment in the city. I think that when J.P. Morgan Chase showed up, our approach was we're just going to listen. And what they heard shaped their work in Detroit. We're really interested in investing in communities. You know, we're really interested in doing it in a way that is thoughtful and takes into account the many residents who uh, stuck through the tough times in Detroit. Houses are just one piece of it. A neighborhood has businesses, it has parks, it has community resources, it has libraries. And it has people, people who are proud of where they come from. I grew up in this area. I lived on this block at one point. It was a very thriving community. A lot of tight, close-knit families, several generations of families up and down the blocks here. Stephen Harris is a local contractor who works with Sonia Mays. He's seen Detroit's decline and today he's helping rebuild it. We don't just rebound properties, we rebound people. What I've noticed is when you start providing more opportunities, people start feeling a lot better about themselves. J.P. Morgan Chase has already invested more than $150 million in Detroit, and that number is growing. By 2022, the company will have committed $200 million to support the Motor City. It is not enough to build it and they will come. You have to build it, but you also have to be prepared to support it long past just building it. It takes a village to raise a child. Well, Detroit is great at that. We have endured a lot of different uh, adversities, and we've always been able to uh, overcome them. 